Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I have my template up. I have auto select layer, show bounding box, and show highlight on rollover selected. I have my layers up, my layers palette up, and if you want to turn that on, you go to window and then layers. And the first thing I'm going to do is open the picture that I want to add for the bottom. I have my your photo here layer highlighted and selected and then I'm going to come over to my image and drag it in and then I'm going to come up here and drag it out and press enter. Now if I wanted to I could turn on my bottom dark edge but I'm not going to do that for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in my next photo and it's going to be on, on this layer too. It's going to be where it says your photo here. Drag it in and drag it out. And press enter. And then I can press my use my arrow keys to drag it down. If this was overlapping, let's say this was on top and it was overlapping, I could come over to my rectangular marquee tool and select this area and make sure I have that layer selected and press delete and it will just disappear. I'm going to go ahead and change the name now and I just highlight it And change. I'm going to go ahead and press select, deselect. Okay, so that the, the rectangular marquee tool wasn't, had, didn't have the marching ants anymore. I can go ahead and change any of these elements. You can turn off any elements that you don't want on there, and you can change the color. And double click this hue saturation and I'm going to see if I can change it to purple. Or if I wanted to I could just completely take out the saturation and have it turn into gray. So either way and then you can adjust the saturation here. Or you can turn this off and use a different layer. Use the fire. And that's all there is to it. Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have yourself a creative day.